Welcome to Weon, where we dive into the stories making headlines. Today we're looking up, uh, way up, at a near-Earth object that's definitely got NASA paying attention. You're about to get the rundown on this space rock, why it's significant, and, well, why we're talking about it. Yeah, so the object drawing attention right now is uh, asteroid 2003 MH4, and it's not tiny. We're talking something like um, 1,100 feet across. Okay, 1,100 feet. That's, that's a pretty good size, and it's making a close pass soon. May 24th. That's the date, yeah. And because it's bigger than, let's see, 492 feet, and it comes within a certain distance, which in this case is about 6,680,000 kilometers. Mm. Well, it gets it flagged. It's classified as a potentially hazardous object. Right. Potentially hazardous. So that designation means they watch it more closely. Exactly. It doesn't mean it will hit. Just that it meets the criteria for, you know, closer monitoring. Yeah. Size and proximity. Got it. And you mentioned it's part of the Apollo group. What does that mean exactly? Oh, uh, yes. The Apollo asteroids, they're near-Earth objects whose orbits actually cross Earth's orbit. Okay, so they intersect with our path around the sun. Precisely. And interestingly, the Apollos are actually the largest group of these near-Earth objects we know of. We've found uh, over 21,000 so far. 21,000. Wow. Okay, so it's a busy neighborhood out there. And NASA has a specific team for this, right? Keeping track. They do. It's the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, uh, CNEOS. They're the ones constantly tracking orbits, calculating trajectories, assessing any you know potential impact risks down the line. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a huge job. It is. Requires constant observation and recalculation as we get more data. We've heard about others before, haven't we? Like um, Apophis? That caused a stir for a bit? Apophis is a classic example, yes. Huh. There was some initial worry about a potential hit in 2029, Oof. but thankfully more observations showed it'll be a safe, albeit close, miss. It shows how the science evolves. Right. More data leads to better predictions. So with 2003 MH4, what's the main takeaway for you right now? Well, the key point is simply that we have a relatively large asteroid making a notably close approach. Its size puts it in that potentially hazardous category, yeah. which means NASA is, quite rightly, keeping a careful eye on it. It just mm -hmm. you know highlights the ongoing work being done to map and understand our cosmic environment. Absolutely. It's good to know someone's watching the skies. Definitely fascinating stuff. Stay tuned, you, for more intriguing stories coming your way.